Yeah, let's do this! What's up everybody? Graver here, and yes, as you saw in that opening, I got my hands on an X shot long shot. So, yeah, I'm really excited to actually take a look at this. Um, first and foremost, I did purchase this with my own money. I happened to find it at my local Target, which I'm very excited about. Excuse me. Um, so, with just getting it out of the way with all of my reviews, as always, we're going to go over the aesthetics of this blaster, how this thing functions, what it happens to come with. We are going to take a look at the inside of it. Um, I will get chronograph numbers for you, which I will talk about when we get to my final thoughts. So, first and foremost, this is X-Shot's foray into a competitive dart blaster. Uh, yes, this is part of their new Pro Series. And yes, it is named after an old uh, Nerf blaster, but you know what? Screw it. So is something in Fallout 76, but you know what? Whatever. Um... This is, as you can see here from where the uh, short dart magazine and adapter are, this is a bullpup style magazine, uh, bullpup style blaster, pardon me. Uh, you have your front grip, or you have your main grip here, you have your front priming grip here. You just, with as with any Springer, push back, push forward, pull trigger, fire dart. Uh, this is actually a double dart firing blaster or double dart type i honestly i don't know what the hell you would actually call it but this fires two types of darts you have full lengths and you do have half lengths uh speaking of which this does come with 20 full lengths and 20 half length darts um of the x shot design which we'll talk about when we get to the bench because you'll be able to see them a little better uh so besides the adapter and the short dart magazine which holds 15 darts you also have a full length uh, a full length 15 dart magazine as well um, going over some of the features on this uh, this does come fully assembled so as you see it here is how you get it out of the packaging it does actually have an extendable stock which was kind of nice because I mean even with for where the size is here it's actually not terribly uncomfortable like even though this is a closer grip than where I'm used to it does still feel nice. So, you know, seeing here, shouldering it, it it's not bad. Uh, you can extend it out, not by much, but it actually does for me. It does feel a little better like that, and it's solid. It's not going anywhere, which is, again, really nice. You also do get these uh, faux flip-up sights. And I say faux with a little bit of discretion on it because, yeah, they are just molded plastic. They're not going to flip up and down, and they fit on your uh, Picatinny rail on top here. However, I will point this out with the front sight. Now, normally these things are just, you know, whatever, but wait, there, there we go. This is actually adjustable. Like... You can actually adjust the front sight for it. Um, that's honestly kind of neat. Uh, you can't do anything with the back. Like, the back is literally just molded plastic. There's nothing going on there. Um, you do have this barrel extension and a muzzle brake. Uh, the muzzle brake is just a foam muzzle brake to, you know, give you a bit of a longer orange barrel. However, you can take both of them off. But here's where the fun part comes with this. So you can take both of these apart. This is just a full muzzle brake. It's l nothing but just plastic. This, however, is a scar barrel. You can kind of, you can look down here. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but yeah, this is an X shot designed scar barrel. So where Dart Zone still hasn't made, well, no, I I digress. The Mark IV does have one. But think of all of the competitive Pro Blasters that they have made, and it took them this long to finally include a scar barrel, where X-Shot, they're right out of the gate giving you a freaking scar barrel. That is honestly pretty damn dope. Um, 
So, going back to your magazine well back here, like I said, you have your full-length magazines, and you also have your half-length, which you will need an adapter for because it is the full... It, you need a full well in order to use the full magazine. Uh, but as you load this in, you have two ways of taking out a magazine. You do have the original one where you just take everything out, which is kind of pointless. But you also have the adapters magazine release, which is just like the ones, well, not exactly just like the ones, but ba basically it's just like the ones that darts on me. So you can just pull your magazines out like this. But then I was trying to figure out what the hell is right above the trigger. So moving over to where your trigger is, you have two things you can see here. One is your safety, which uh, when it's pushed in on this side is unlocked and you're able to pull the trigger. On this side, you push it in and it locks your trigger, which is basically any competitive blaster safety feature. But then I was trying to figure out what the hell is this thing? And then I, you know, I tried it with the full length magazine, didn't do anything, but then I put the half length adapter in there and then It's a release, it's a half, it's the adapter release. <laughs> so you can, you don't have to go back and try and fiddle which one you're supposed to grab. You can literally just release your magazine from there, load in a new one, and you're good to go. And for those wondering, here I have one of my Talon magazines. And, let me try to do it right. It takes a Talon. And it works with the, well, I know the red ones are a little, are a little chunkier. So let's try one of the, my original blue ones and see how well it works. Yeah. If you have one of the original ones and not like the newer purple, maybe pink, reds, or uh, green uh, talents. Yeah. The gravity drop with the old blue styles <laughs> works beautifully. Um, yeah, so this is, oh, and I cannot remiss about actually going over the aesthetics because it's the first thing I freaking mentioned, but X-Shot has kind of went away from like their old style looking just basic plastic blasters to something what they call skins, and it's, they're blasters, but they usually have kind of like this, um, these graphics all over them. They've done like video game themed ones, um, monster beast themed ones. Those are the two that I know off the top of my head. Um, they also have done a collaboration with Sega and have Sonic the Hedgehog themed dark blasters, which I happen to have one and I gotta say it is still dope. Um, but yeah, like you have like these game over ones. Uh, I don't have the Beast ones. Those are just the two that I've gotten from the kids over, you know, for, like, Father's Day and, like, little, little tchotchke, you know, we love you, Dad type of things. Um, but, yeah, this has its own unique pro skin on here to make it look really sci-fi-ish. And, I mean, some people may say, oh, this is, like, really way too busy. But I'll be honest, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm really kind of liking this. Um, so yeah, as it stands right now, like normally I'm always, once I get a new blaster, I, always I automatically start going through my head of like, how am I painting this up? How am I going to design my, own, put my own spin on it or whatever? I'm not, I mean, if I get a second one and that is a very good possibility, cause I'll get to that later on in my final thoughts, but I honestly, I'm digging this design. Like I'm not I'm keeping one of these as is because Again, I'm not going to lie, this looks cool. Like, yes, it's busy, but it has so much going on it that it's like, I almost would be remiss in, like, kind of doing anything to it, I feel. Um, but again, that's just me, so. But, all right, enough of the gushing on this. Let's take this over to the workbench, and we'll take a better look at the internals of this thing. Okay, so I have the X-Shot here. I've already undone all the screws uh, to make things easier. And there are things here that I just realized that are kind of just freaking cool. So you can actually remove 
just the front piece by removing the two front screws here because they're basically pinned in. So if you remove these two screws, these pins will come out on the other side and you can actually just remove the front, the front muzzle piece. Um, so that's cool. You remove the front foregrip and you have a Picatinny rail underneath here so you can get into there. Um, also, I found the jam door and it, it, it's like an ejection port I, that I'm sorry. That's, that's cool. So, oh, uh, so yeah, going on to the darts themselves. Uh, these are your full length, uh, new X shot darts, uh, not too dissimilar from, uh, the max striker darts that, uh, dart zone has made and well, I'll be damned. These are actually full length. This is, they are full size darts. They're actually full size darts. That's really cool. Um, I did want to note, like, I guess they have these, uh, this hexagonal cutout on here. So, and it's the same on the short darts. So where here is a Max Striker dart tip, sorry, Max Striker dart tip next to the X shot dart tip and a adventure pro force pro dart next to it. So it kind of took the angle and all that stuff. Um, I guess we got to figure out what we're going to call these ones. Um, I'm thinking hex heads or maybe crystal darts, you know, I think, I think that's pretty fair right there. So, all right, so now into the blaster itself. And did I get, nope, nope. I, I had all of these undone, there we go. So here we are on the inside of the blaster itself. So here we have your magazine release uh, thing here, which I guess the way it would interact, where's the, so here we have this. It goes in, it interacts. Ah, okay, so the way the half dart release works is this is tied to here. And what this does is actually a notch in here. So you wouldn't be able to actually use it with a uh, talent adapter. It would only work with uh, this particular style of the X shot uh, magazine adapter. Although I wonder if just you could most probably open this up and just remove this lever here and then just have the half dart release here. So this way you're not getting it confused with that one. So that's actually a pretty easy fix. I might actually wind up doing that, but yeah, there's this little cutout here and that's where it interacts with. So it would push in there and that's where it would come out. And also, and again, I apologize. I remiss for this one. Um, there are two levers in here. Um, or I should say uh, two magazine notches that would lock in. So this is not only compatible with um, talons, uh, this chan is most probably also compatible with katana style magazines as well. So moving into the blaster itself, um, it's interesting. I've never actually seen anything like this. Um, I will say this, and this was a contention some people had made um the plunger tube does look thin um actually give me a second i will get my caliper so and i question even that uh that's about two millimeters thick of a plunger tube so yeah, putting a little bit of force on it, I see flex in it. So honestly, first and foremost, if anything gets replaced on this blaster itself, I would say you will want to replace that plunger tube with something beefier. Um, that's first and foremost. Um, hopefully somebody will come up with a metal one um, just to give it that structure. Because I don't know if you'd be able to get um, plastic thicker with what is already in here because it looks pretty well compact um, in regards to where everything kind of fits in. 
And now this is what I honestly find most interesting is that this, the way this works is you're loading the dart basically through this barrel, which goes through the plunger tube. So this would go back, um, this would, you know, catch to pull this forward. Uh, you have your trigger, which also leads into here, which is part of your catch. And that's where you get your plunger, which basically feeds directly through there. Uh, you seal it, your airflow goes through that hole right there. Uh, basically feeding right in, propelling your dart outwards because uh, it's all sealed up on the back end of here. And this is your breech, which is where, how all you load your dart. Um, yeah, I mean, over and all, it, it's a very compact design. Um, and because you have the barrel going through the plunger, it takes off the height of it so you don't have to have like the plunger and everything turn and feed into or turn up and feed into the barrel where everything just kind of feeds in one straight line um yeah i gotta say i'm i'm fairly impressed with this design um i'm not mad at it and it would be something definitely you would you could i i can already see upgrades on here like um replacing this prime with a metal one to make a a, a metal uh a metal loading breach here um definitely replace that plunger to the plunger for sure um that is one thing i would definitely suggest hopefully the community starts looking into is replacing that uh because there has already been one incident where somebody has claimed that they've cracked their plunger tube and honestly i can kind of understand why they said it's under stock um it was under stock performance i mean it's a possibility it could but i don't know i think that might have been a little tweak maybe but yeah so this is the insides of the um the long shot so i'm gonna close this up i'm gonna get some uh, fips for you and then i'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this thing okay so my final thoughts on the x shot pro series long shot i have to say i am impressed with this but also slightly disappointed i am impressed with one the design um although i did not mention it earlier there are some um questions on where this design came from um, I don't know much about that, but let's just say uh, possible gecko. However, overall, this is built pretty well with a lot of neat features. Uh, one being this uh, like short magazine release that they built into here, into the magazine. That is really neat. Um, I've never actually used a bullpup outside of a raven. And I got to say, this isn't terrible. Um, I come from, you know, a time where the original Double Rainbow came out and it was, you know, the new hotness. However, it it had a lot of its flaws, but those eventually got worked out, but I still kind of got burned on that. So I've never been a big bullpup guy, but this is making me change my mind. Um, you get a scar barrel with it. Now, regarding the FPS readings that I got on this, um, this is where I kind of got a little disappointed with. Um, I did all of my testing with the scar barrel on here and I did uh, five shots with the included darts and then five with what would be the most commonly used one um, from at least my experience within the hobby that would be for full lengths uh, chili darts and for the half lengths max striker darts um, so in regards to the full length darts that this thing uh, came with and I will have numbers up here uh, you got an average of almost 112 on the included long darts with a scar barrel. That's pretty damn good. Um, I got to say, that very much impressed me. But what impressed me more was the fact that when I used the chili darts, I got an close to almost like 20 extra feet 
per second on these things. Uh, with chili darts, this thing was averaging almost 129 on a long dart. That's actually really cool. Um, and I got to say, I'm really impressed with that because with the included darts, for, you can basically use this thing for HVZ, which is really awesome. Um, now, where my disappointment comes in is with the FPS that I was getting on this with the included half darts. Um, performance was honestly very lacking. And I did these chronos twice to see if maybe I kind of messed up because the second round of short dart testing did much better uh, for the max striker darts than the originals. However, the included crystal hex darts, those still kind of waned. Um, the numbers, again, here for the short darts, for sure, with this and the uh, included scar barrel, this is only getting an average of 108. And for a short dart on a pro blaster, that is pretty sad. Um, and the, like I said, my first testing didn't, was about that as well, which really was very disappointing. However, once I put in max striker darts into this, this started performing much better. I actually got a average of 137 out of these, out of this with the max striker darts. That was on the second test. Uh, first test, again, it was very weird. I don't know why it was shooting so kind of crappy. But when I retested it, because I'm like, no, something was definitely wrong there. It did improve. And I didn't, and I swear I didn't do any di anything different. I may have shot a little slower. I don't know, maybe that might have been it. But yeah, um, second round with the max striker darts did much better. And you can see in the numbers. Uh, so yeah, the included darts kind of suck. Fucking bullshit! Uh, if you use darts on darts, you're going to get better performance out of this thing. So there's that. Uh, also, one thing I did want to point out that I had mentioned when I did my overview, uh, but I did not do otherwise. Uh, the... Underneath this uh, front grip is Picatinny rail, uh, and I didn't mention this when I did take this apart because I didn't realize it until afterwards, but you can actually remove the handle from here. So the handle does actually separate from the rest of the blaster build. And then, of course, the jam door, which looks like a little ejection port, which, I'm sorry, that's just kind of cool. Um, but I also never mentioned what this thing cost because that I wanted to save the best thing for last. This was 30 bucks. And I will say that again, this, a competition grade blaster is $30. That ain't, you know, something to just bat an eye with. Seeing as the Nexus starts at 50 and that's like the only, and, and also the Max Striker is 50 bucks. So right now, those two are the closest competitor to this thing. And one thing I will say that, this does not have that those two unfortunately do suffer from because much like this, the Max Striker and the um, Nexus Pro both fire full length and half length darts. You don't have priming slop in this. Whereas those you have that like kind of inch or two of like just dead prime before you actually start priming it. This doesn't have that, which is honestly very nice. So, um, yeah, but also, as I had mentioned with the uh, overview on the workbench, my biggest concern about this is the plunger tube. It is very thin and even closed. I can almost still, if you push on it, you can still kind of feel the flex. Like that is, and also, again, somebody has already claimed that there's cracked under stock performance. So, while if that's true, that does suck. But again, this is only $30. So, I mean, upgrade parts for this thing are going to be well worth the money that you're going to put into it. Even if you just pay for an aluminum plunger tube, maybe an additional 20 bucks, you're now getting a reinforced plunger tube for what you would be, and out of a bullpup competition blaster, out of what you would be getting out of the Nexus or the Striker. Um, also, and I didn't, I kind of touched on this again while we were at the workbench, but uh, you see here on the front end of the blaster, uh, those what looks almost like two pegs. Those are pegs. If you remove 
these two screws right here, you can actually just remove the front end muzzle and you have access to your barrel. So there you go on that one. But yeah, over and all, I have to say, I'm liking this. I am liking this. And this is honestly really kind of impressed me a bit. Um, now, again, as with all my reviews, your mileage may vary on this, but honestly, this is, I would, I would give this a solid recommendation for the price alone this is something to get just to kind of have and then mess with because again thirty dollars for a competition blaster you can't shake a stick at that well you could but then they throw you out of the store because why are you bringing sticks into a store but that's a story for another day um not that i've done that but either way but yeah um the x shot long sh long shot yeah i Color me impressed. Um, yeah. Well, that's where we're going to end it for this video. And as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you, for $30, would you be willing to just get this, flaws and all, just to try out. Let me know in the comments. I love reading them all. And, ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And we have a lot of fun stuff coming out this summer. So please, 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 if you do like our content, I, mean, I know I say this in every video, but really, please like and subscribe uh, So and click the bell so you get your notifications. So, And, ooh, don't forget, we also have the P.O. Box. So if you want to send us a letter, just say how we're doing and all. You know, it's always nice to get mail. Everyone loves getting mail. Unless it's junk, then it's bad. But anyway, again... Thank you all for joining me. I will see you guys next time. Later.